Hey friends of YouTube, welcome to the One Kid Couple channel. In today's video, we are going back to Cranes Mill Park for the July 4th weekend. This time around, it was a lot more crowded. Pretty much every RV site was occupied and I'm pretty sure that we got the worst RV site in the entire park. So we were at site number seven. At Cranes Mill, Cranes Mill Park, your site comes with water and electric. Now the regular price for the for one night is $30, but if you have an access pass, the cost is only 15. So not too bad, we stayed two nights for 30 bucks. Now I did not get new footage of the state of the bathhouse. I can tell you that the bathhouse was just as clean over the July 4th weekend as it was back in February when the park was only half full. So I'm gonna go ahead and link right now in uh, up above to that video if you'd like to see what the inside of the women's restroom looks like. Now, what you're gonna notice here, lots of people have boats. Boat, uh, let me see, boat. You get a little bit of FOMO if you don't have a boat. So what do you do if you don't have a boat and you're at Canyon Lake for the weekend? Well, you bring your friends, you bring your bikes, you bring your cornhole game, and you bring your inflatable stand-up paddleboard. That's what we did. As you can see here, we I'm um, taking a bike ride through the tent camping area. And the tent camping area actually has much better water access, like beach access, uh, versus the RV area. So a good strategy could be to rent a tent site and rent an RV site. Maybe you can rent the tent site so you have somewhere closer to the water to hang out during the day. And then you have your RV site for your conveniences like your kitchen and your, your bathroom and whatnot. Now we brought our Green Life inflatable stand-up paddleboard with us. This is the first time that we were using it, so we didn't really know what to expect. We've never had one of these before. Very, pretty easy to blow up. You're not supposed to use a compressor, so you are supposed to hand pump it. And honestly, if it wasn't so dang hot, it probably wouldn't have been such a grueling effort for that. As you can see, Alex got out there on the paddleboard. He didn't stand up on it. I think he was just trying to get a lay of the land at that point. You could see the, the clouds started rolling in and we were about to get a little bit of a rain shower. If you don't have a friend who has a boat or jet skis and you're considering renting one, you can go to this website here. If you just search Canyon Lake Boat Rentals, this is probably the website that will come up. Uh, we don't have any affiliation with them, but they do have Cranes Mill Marina Rentals. So you can go to their website, check out, they have various options to choose from, including boats, kayaks, paddle boards, and jet skis and you can decide whether you want to rent for a half a day or a full day. And maybe if you have a, a large party, you can split up the cost. I believe rent a, a half day rental is about $500. So if you can split the cost, then it's probably worth it.
are leaving the RV park. So as you can see, lots of people brought their boats out for the weekend. And I'm gonna sit right here, as you see, I would say these two are the, the best sites in the whole park because you have, your sites are pretty far away from other people, plus you have trees. And a lot of the other RV sites don't have trees um, next to them. But I mean, it really just depends on what you're looking for, right? I would say if you're gonna come to Cranes Mill with multiple families, so more than one person bringing a, an RV with them, then you may want to get a back and front, one RV in the front and one RV in the back. It's just easier than having to walk all the way around the campsite and they don't have any buddy sites at Cranes Mill. Thank you for stopping by and watching the video. If you got value out of the information, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.